Once we killed the Ender Dragon, our team could craft the strongest weapon on the server, the Dragon Bone Blade, a sword that allows you to spawn your very own Ender Dragon. However, the second that we did, oh, yes, the portal's locked for five minutes. Now they're coming. Now they're coming. Now they're coming. Go, 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 go. Our enemies were a team of seven players dedicated to killing us for the sole purpose of stealing our most prized possession, the Life Stealer, another one of the legendary weapons on the server. With very few options, our team quickly chose to climb atop an end pillar, and we're going to wait out the five-minute timer while trying to avoid our enemies. They haven't blocked off the thing, which is actually really convenient, so. Minute no, minute no! Yo, bed, uh, move, move, move back! Step back, step back, step back, step back, step back. Got him! Oh my god. Oh my god, they have everything. Javix, what the f*** do we do? Our two best players were now dead. All of our valuable items were gone. And it was left to me and Jpex to save the day. But first, I once again need to talk about my little guy. The Prince Sam U2s is out right now if you're watching this the second I uploaded it. You have until the end of April to purchase him. And if you don't, I'm going to find you. The plushie comes with a lot of special features. First of all, it's wearing a crown, which is pretty cool. Second of all, if you pour milk on it, it turns white and gets all wet, which was really really hard for us to do. And lastly, if you throw it at the wall while it's covered in milk, it'll do something really special. That one is gonna have to stay a surprise for now. Once again, you have until the end of April, and if you don't buy it, you will never get him ever. Anyway, back to the mortal peril. Jpex and I were cornered, outnumbered, and outgeared. However, that wasn't going to stop us from defeating our enemies. There may be seven of them, and they might have maxed in chance while we only have like prot two and nothing else, but that won't stop us from giving it our all and trying our hardest to beat our enemies and okay wait never mind they just left us we're not worth killing i guess okay lol oh also we killed wambu welcome oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but despite this our enemies who were a team of eight still by the way now had the life stealer as well as the materials to craft the dragon bone blade making them officially the strongest players on the server and practically unbeatable right after day one but despite how hopeless things seemed i still knew there was a way to beat them and it all came in the form of a voice message i received this is minecraft's cutest item the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade. Meow. Now, as soon as I heard this voice line, I knew that I needed to get my hands on this weapon. It's literally the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade. It summons cats to fight for you and does double damage from behind. And I mean, princess is only two letters away from prince. So on top of the two weapons that we just lost, our team now had our mindset on the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade, as well as three other weapons that just got added to the server. And if we could get our hands on all of these weapons, we'd more than likely be able to take down our enemies and steal back the life stealer as well as the dragon bone blade. Speaking of which, remember how our enemies only have the materials to craft the dragon bone blade and don't actually have the weapon itself? That's because whenever you try to craft an item on the server, it starts a ritual telling every single player on the server where you are, giving you 30 minutes to defend the weapon from enemies before you actually obtain the item. And what do you know, just a few days after our embarrassing loss in the end, our enemies planned on getting themselves the dragon bone blade. So since my teammates didn't have any gear, I decided I would go end busting with JPEX, which unfortunately, uh... Um, how are we getting over to it? Uh, you gotta go down. <gasps> J Come on, man! So, now that I was completely alone in the end, I spent the next six hours straight and busting, getting myself all the armor and tools I'd need for the upcoming battle. Speaking of which, my teammates and I had come up with a strategy in order to win. You see, the server has a cap on protection at level three. So, theoretically, if Maypick and I were to pull out some of our favorite weapons, TNT minecarts, we'd more than likely be able to one-shot our enemies with just one cart. So after fully preparing our kit for the battle and practicing a little bit with Maypick, the four of us traveled to the location of the ritual, which, by the way was in one of the world border corners. Oh my god, try and pick a more annoying spot next time. And once we got there, we saw seven people! So when they killed us in the end, that wasn't just a temporary alliance to kill us. That is just their team. They are just a team of seven people. That is like, that is their team. That's just what it is. Oh my god. We're fighting seven people today. Oh my god. All of my confidence went down the drain, but maybe in minute told me to lock in. So that's exactly what I was going to do. Tyrone! I am... Make you feel the tire. Oh, he got hit by that though. Sam, I, oh. should I tell you where the Lord Cat Why is? Why are there so many of you? Hey, Prince hey, Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. You will never be the strongest player on this SMP. Oh, I'm good. I, I, I got it. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Money for fun. Money for he's coming, he's coming, I need help, I need help. Get him, he has to be low, bro. He's just chugging ass, he's just chugging ass. Tyrod, 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 you can literally press oh. online and check. Oh, yeah, wait. What? I didn't take any damage. <laughs> god damn it! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Why are there three of them on me? Welcome, Prince Sam. To your doom. You'll never kill me! Yummy, yummy, yum. Oh my god, there's all of you on me. Okay. Oh, oh! oh, oh. 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 
Oh, hey, wait, he has another? No. They, they probably all have one. There's yeah. six of them on me! Yeah, that's kind of fair, actually. Uh, where, oh. Wait, where? where Get where? away! Okay, so this that was a mine. New... Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming, coming. Guys. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Your okay. Team, your team with a bunch of that's pretty smart. Thank you. Oh, shark kills. Come on. This isn't you, man. I'm dead. So, um, we kind of lost pretty bad, huh? Luckily, Minu was able to get out, but the rest of us, not so much. However, something that we realized during the fight was that the server was on EASY MODE! Making our cards do no damage! Mavic would have gotten, like, three kills, and I would have killed myself immediately, but also taken someone down with me, at least. Luckily, this fight wasn't a complete waste of our time, since it kind of gave us an idea. If we could do our rituals anywhere we wanted, why not do one inside of, like, a big obsidian vault? We immediately began workshopping this idea until eventually my teammate Minute came up with a banger design that featured wardens as well as elder guardians. And with this vault, chances are we'd probably be able to get all four legendary weapons in one day, allowing us to not only become stronger than our enemies, but also steal back the weapons that we had lost. Oh, and of course, in the process, get myself the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade. I cannot not have the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade. Anyways, to get started on this project, we need to regear ourselves, which was a bit annoying, but not that hard thanks to an Enderman farm built by Yours truly. Next up, we needed obsidian, so my teammates began working on an obsidian farm, while I, on the other hand, started working on villagers. But while I was doing this, I got really bored really fast, so I decided to do something a little silly. How would Minitech react if I told him I loved him? We're gonna put bets on this, okay? I was. This is a bit that I planned the night before. Okay, so the reason that this is funny is because Minitech is one of the most normal people I know, but at the same time, he also limits his responses to a few key phrases. But if you say something wild like, I love you, you, there's really no telling how he'll respond. So I made my Twitch chat bet on a few responses, and after five minutes, hey, minute, I have something very important to tell you. What? I love you. Love you too, Sam. Anyway, moving on. Once we finally had all the materials we needed for the obby farm, Minute decided to run it while the rest of us logged off. And after running the farm for about 30 minutes, the server did an automated shutdown. Like what? Why are we so unlucky? Why do we just keep losing? That wasn't even like player inflicted. That was just something that happened. Like there was no skill issue or anything. What? At the very least, we had enough obby to keep moving forward. So it was time to move on to the second step of our plan, getting the materials we needed for the legendary items. Now, the three items we were after besides the princess blade were the void bow, the dragon bone crown, and lastly, the avian trident. The void bow was relatively easy to gather the materials for. Minute was able to do it in like a few... <laughs> <laughs> minutes. But for the other two, we had to kill two dragons, which also wasn't really that hard. In just under half an hour, we had all the materials we needed, except for the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade. Now, despite me only needing two phantom membranes and a stick, this item was going to be the hardest one to craft. Now, normally, phantom membranes are extremely easy to collect. However, since phantom spawns were off on this server, my only possible source for them was via the cat gift system. Oh, I get it. This meant that I had to go tame a bunch of cats, put them inside of boats, and then every time I went to bed, I had to just pray that they dropped me a phantom membrane. And with only a 3% chance of it dropping, I was going to be here for a while. Phantom membrane, phantom membrane, phantom membrane, phantom membrane, phantom membrane, phantom membrane. I got one! Yes! Oh, wait! Never mind. This is gonna be easy. 16 hour recording. 16 hour stream. Pretty Kitty Princess Blade. It's really cool. I just need two membranes. I just need two membranes. I just need two. I just need two of them. Please, just give me a membrane. Just give me a membrane, please. Just give me a membrane. I got a f feather. Oh my god. Are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Oh. Bro, you were on last night. I've gone to bed, woken up, got in breakfast. I've slept at least 33 times, Wemboo. I need the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade, Wemboo. I need it. Okay, so please just give me a membrane. Please. <gasps> yes! 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 Oh! And just like that, step two is finally over. Now we were on to the final step, actually building the vault. With an outline made of obsidian already completed, the four of us would now have to move in the Elder Guardians as well as the Wardens. Maybe can I move the Elder Guardians out of their monuments relatively easily? Apart from a few distractions from somebody who died and lost all of their things, by the way. Hold. Shut the f up, JPEGs, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> also, yeah, JPEX died to like a creeper. So now Minute had to move the wardens by himself. And JPEX is going to be under geared for tomorrow, which is just amazing. We did, however, manage to get all the wardens in successfully. But just when you think things can't get any worse, two of our Elder Guardians suffocated when we put them in. Meaning there was only one Elder Guardian in the vault instead of the three we were supposed to put in. This is going to make it 10 times easier to break into the vault, since all they had to do now was just kill one Elder Guardian as opposed to three, and they'd be able to mine in like it's nothing. It was getting late, so Mapic and JPEX logged off, leaving Minute and I to finish off the vault. We took the wool off the boxes that contained the wardens. That way, they could hear people mining into the vault and shoot their laser beams at them. However, this also meant that while we were doing this, they start shooting at us. Okay, so he shot me. Okay, oh, so now you leave, but don't leave far enough to the point where it, like, it loses aggro. I think this corner should work. It's really funny. Okay, so it's shooting at me a lot. You're cheating. I am cheating. Oh my god, it's still going. I think you're. Is it a different one aggroed on you? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, I'm on one heart. So while I was running away to heal, Minute was down there mining all the wool. And once the wardens aggroed on him, I'd go down and start mining the wool myself. We kept going back and forth, taking turns like this, until finally all the wool was gone. Now all we had to do was just place in all the obsidian and fill up the vault. Just tell me when I need to come and take aggro. Right now, right now, right okay, now. Okay, right I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, don't be that, don't be that. Oh, dead. no! Wait. No! My respawn point. Are you what? trolling? What Are you what trolling? The the... Oh, what happened to the bed? It's still there. It's still fine. I know the one at the base. Who, who broke the one at the base? Minitech was now all the way back at the world spawn, meaning I had to pick up all of our items without dying, or else neither of us would have any gear for the ritual tomorrow. Okay, so I messed up. I'm going to shulker everything. <laughs> I'm just going to shulker everything right now, and oh, I'm alive. Okay, so I'm not dead. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm finished. I'm so finished. I'm so finished. I'm so finished. I'm so finished. Why did someone break the base? At least die up there. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. This is easy. This is easy. This is easy. This is easy. Okay. Placed water there. Picked up all of this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay? I think that worked. I think I'm out. I think I got a lot of stuff. I think we're good. Okay, that was really only a minor inconvenience. Minu was able to come back and actually set his bed this time, and we decided that we didn't really want to risk losing our items again. So instead, we were going to run into the vault with no armor and place as much obsidian as we could until eventually we die. So we kept doing this over and over by placing and dying and placing and dying and placing and dying until Pentar logged on. Now, if he saw us dying over and over to wardens, he'd get a little suspicious, so we had to wait around for about three hours making it six in the morning until eventually he logged off. Oh, good night. He's off. He's off. Oh, imagine we see him back five minutes later. I'll kill. Oh my God. I think, I think we did it. I think we win. I'm not even happy this time. I just, I'm not even happy. I'm not even like going to celebrate, dude. Then we could continue the cycle of placing obsidian until we ran out of obsidian. Why can nothing go right for us on this server? I swear to God. Look at the list of things that have gone wrong for us. Why are there so many? Like, there should not be this many. So Minute and I had to spend 30 minutes mining down an obsidian pillar until we were finally done with the vault. Now we were on to step four of our plan. Get in. Get in the vault. Go. Get in now. Once we were in the vault, all we had to do now was to stay in here and perform all of our rituals while praying that our enemies didn't break in. Oh yeah, before this, we also recruited shark gills and arc into our side, as well as Tyrad, meaning that we finally didn't need to fight seven people at once. Now, originally, we wanted to start all three rituals at the same time, but then we learned that we couldn't do that, meaning if we wanted all four items, we'd have to stay in this vault for two hours, and we weren't really sure if it could last that long. But regardless, we were still gonna try. So we started our first ritual for the Dragon Bone Crown, a netherite helmet that gives you permanent strength to, speed to, as well as resistance, and also never breaks. In 30 minutes, this item would be ours. However, 20 minutes into our ritual, our enemies finally decided to show up. But they weren't really prepared to break into our vault, and we didn't know how to deal with them considering we were inside of said vault. So... Oh, hey guys. Hey guys. I have, I have <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, however, while we were doing all of this, our new allies were getting slaughtered. Flame frags. Flame frags. <laughs> flame frags. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, this bought us enough time to finish off our first ritual and get right into the second one. I'm gonna start right. TNT down to them. Just yeah, start TNT. Oh no! Start TNT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Fuck it! Fuck it! Oh my god! 
Let's go! The second ritual was for an item called the Void Bow. An item that allows you to teleport yourself or a mob to wherever you shoot your arrow. But considering the fact that our enemies were starting to break into the vault starting now, there was a very realistic chance that we weren't going to get to the next two rituals or even finish off this one. Let's portal out, let's portal out, let's portal out. Yo, we Yo. Can wait, wait, we can, we can chase them. Yeah. Oh my god, half heart. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that somehow worked. That silly little trick bought us about 15 minutes. But when our enemies finally did come back, they were quite a bit more prepared than they were last time. What's your plan, guys? Let's hear it. Uh, Not gonna work, dumbass, no. dumbass, <laughs> idiot, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone just broke a block. Oh my god, they might one obby. Oh, that sounds like that hurt it. Fence that hurt, dude. Oh, I can't. Where they're close. They're so close. Why are they so close? You will never be the strongest player on the game. All right, guys, let's talk about what happens after this boy boat goes. Because unfortunately, Zam, you are mid. That's what you think, buddy. What's up, guys? Open, 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 open. open. <laughs> He's already dead. He's already dead. He's already dead. But we have more obby. We can just place more. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Now, despite this seeming like a victory, Wembu's TNT did far more damage than we expected. Because for whatever reason, this allowed the wardens to start shooting at me non-stop. Uh, we, oh, shit, I'm still getting hit. Why am I still getting hit? Why am I still getting hit? And no matter how many times I'd log out, it just wouldn't stop shooting at me. Replacing TNT. Oh my god, dude, what? All right, nice, it's off you, it's off you, it's off you. It just hit me, dude. Are you stupid? It just hit me again. Gap, 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 gap. Zam. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I actually don't know what to do. I kept logging in and out, hoping that eventually it would stop targeting me. But even after five minutes straight of doing this, I was still just getting shot. And as if things weren't bad enough already, we still had our enemies to worry about. Keep placing. We got Abby for days. What are they gonna do? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Dude. Dude, 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 what am I doing? What? This is starting to get really infuriating really fast. Especially because my teammates kept calling my name like I was doing something wrong. After two more attempts, I was just told to stay logged off for now. Until about two minutes later, when our ally Tyrad took the warden's aggro for himself, allowing me to safely log on. Now, by the time I was back on the server, the void bow ritual was practically over. So we began preparing ourselves for the next legendary weapon, the one that I've been doing all of this for, the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade. Another sword that deals double damage from behind, has limited range, and spawns cats to fight for you every time you take damage or hit someone with it. And now, after waiting out the last five minutes of the void bow ritual with my teammates, it was finally time for me to start the ritual for my weapon. Good. Don't- Oh! It's hitting me now! That's a problem! You need to craft! You get dude, dude, dude! Drop me a lock! Drop me a lock! Drop me! Drop me! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so despite me being in the vault perfectly fine for five minutes, the wardens just randomly decide to attack me right when I'm about to get my weapon. Of course, I love this server. Oh my god. This time around, Sharkills came and got the warden's aggro. So luckily, I was able to log back on in a little bit. And the ritual for the Pretty Kitty Princess Blade had finally started. Just 30 more minutes and all of this will have been worth it. But believe it or not, during those 30 minutes, we ran into zero issues. For whatever reason, our enemies chose to just camp in the nether. I guess breaking into the vault was a little too hard for them. Or maybe they just didn't want to lose their items to the warden beams. But regardless, I hope you all realize what this means. Oh my, go. God. Oh, go. my God. Go. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So, I'm a pretty kitty princess now. But where something amazing had happened, another not-so-amazing thing also happened. The avian trident, the fourth item we were going to get, couldn't be crafted. Meaning we'd have to leave our vault one item short, and hopefully get it some other time in the future. However, this was only the tip of the iceberg, because another not-so-amazing thing happened as we were trying to leave the vault. I'm, oh, still, coming, I'm still coming, I'm still coming, I'm still coming through, I'm still coming through. We're out, we're out, we're out. Wait, we're help, help, help! JPEGs! JPEG! Oh my god. Can you get a stuff, Sam? I'm trying. No, can get the shulk and get out. I guess he didn't really have any heals. He didn't have food. Oh my god, I'm getting, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Log if you have to. Log if you have to. Yes, Sam. There's water. There's water. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out now. I'm out now. I'm out now. I'm out now. With JPEGs dead and completely out of gear, we had no choice but to continue on without him. Luckily, our allies who died earlier managed to re-gear themselves at this point and made their way back to the vault to help us finish off the last step of our plan, stealing back the weapons that we lost at the beginning. Oh, don't keep by that dragon. Pentar as a dragon. 
Oh, hey, Wenboo. Oh, hey, hey Wenboo. Oh, my God. Why is that cat Yeah, you're not getting killed by my kitties. They're knocking me. They're literally Welcome knocking the pretty me. Princess I can't do anything. Haha, <laughs> fling frags. You cannot kill me. You cannot kill me. I'm the kitty. Help, help, help. I'm trying. I popped him. Hey, Pentar. I want that Dragon Bone Blade, dude. I need it for me, babe. Get it down. Oh, hey, Pentar. I'm in a boat now, Pentar. Okay. Pentar, my cats are hitting you, Pentar. Pretty kitty Prince of Blade! Pretty kitty Prince of Blade! Oh, I see you guys, I see you guys, I see you guys. Damn! Yes! Nice! Yes! Nice! Nice! Where's Blade? Where's Blade? Where's Blade? Arkin, our trusted ally, the main reason we won this fight in the first place, had picked up the Dragon Bone Blade and was planning on keeping it. All of us knew that if we wanted the blade for ourselves, we'd have to betray our allies. And if that's what it took for us to become the strongest team on the server, then I'd gladly make that sacrifice. Got him. Nice. So, Sharkles may have gotten it. Can we have the sword then? Oh, sorry. I feel like I've earned this sword a little bit. Yeah, you're on him, you're on him, you're on him. Sorry, Shark. Dead. Yep. Let's go! Got the sword, got the sword! But we weren't done yet. We weren't gonna stop until we had every weapon on the server. So we yeah. did a bit of exploring and found Flame Frags' Wait, base. Game. The flame right there! Right there! Right there! I'm on him! Right here, right here. Call, 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 what call, the call, 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 Backstab! I backstabbed, I think. Oh cats, <laughs> the cats are attacking. Got him. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, oh my god. I got the light oh I'm sure it's like a backstab indicator. I have no idea what I'm getting at. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Kingdom of Madness forever. We're actually like. We're actually the best team on the server. In the beginning, our enemies, including our former allies, all wanted us dead for practically no reason. So today, we decided to give them a reason. Despite all the countless hardships we had to go through, all the little things that ended up going wrong, we were still able to come out on top in the end and obtain every single legendary weapon on the server, thus crowning us the kings of this Minecraft SMP.